Braavos may very well be the coolest city we've never seen in Game of Thrones. Its history goes back to when the Valyrians were still flying around Essos. During a routine slave ship convoy to South Orios, the slaves up in mutinied. They boat jacked the captains and killed the slavers. Knowing they could never return to the hundred lands from which the diverse group came from, they headed north. They stumbled upon a lagoon which concealed countless isles. They built canals much like real world Venice to navigate the growing city. This is where Braavos began. The city's geography made it the perfect hiding spot from the Valyrian freehold. Its surrounding mountain range made it impossible to see from afar and difficult to navigate into. The lagoon has a layer of fog to protect it from the high-flying Valerians. Later, the citizens would build the Titan of Bravos, a 400-foot bronze and stone statue which stands over the only entrance to the city. It's not just decoration, however. It has arrow slits in its body and murder holes where the ding-dong should be. Bravos has since become famous for two things. The first, its Iron Bank. Originally sought after for its impregnability and secrecy, now kings and merchants alike approach the bank for its vast fortune. They hold so much wealth that they have been known to fund the overthrow of entire kingdoms to get back unpaid loans. Their second claim to fame is the Faceless Men, which may or may not have actually originated there. They are the face-changing assassins order to which Jaqen Hagar belongs, and the group to which Arya Stark hopefully joins in Season 5. 